is. This girl is it's on fire. fire. I know, like, it's obviously <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do an apartment tour. Hello, welcome to my crib. This is um, our Guadalajara crib. Renee's modeling the latest bootleg merch from Mexico City. <laughs> we got a pool. We got seats, a rug, shoes, <laughs> a fridge with um, just soda <laughs> and beer. And I'm gonna be cooking for everyone. <laughs> just yeah. I don't know how to cook. <laughs> and it was so good. We got, we, we have, we have Tide Pods to do the Tide Pod Challenge. <laughs> Watch me dry. Dear Phoenix, who caused my death? Laura, you do the Tide Pod Challenge. We got a bathroom right over here. Shower. That's me. I look like a derp. <laughs> We have room number one with really weird pillows, but look, nice closet. And then we got the master bedroom where the magic happens. <laughs> By magic, I mean just sleeping. And then we got a view, cool lamps, a TV, a walk-in closet. And another bathroom. Look like a mess. Look at this. <laughs> All right, so that's it for our crib. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I had the hiccups. <laughs> um, we're gonna go to Walmart. <laughs> Last day, hitting up another music festival. This time, Corona Capital. I'm tired. I'm so tired. But it's okay. We can do this. Ooh, we're so excited. <laughs> oh, so tired. It's the last day. <laughs> Ah, okay. Sí. Okay, gracias. We have to go to the green tent. Look, we arrived just in time for sound check. This is big. Look at that. Oh, I got. I have cash. I got some cash. Where's the bootleggers? I know. I didn't see any out there. I want a bootleg Tame Impala shirt. Where they at? That's your music festival tornado right there. <laughs> wow, nature. Look at that. We made it. This is a Mexican ingenuity right here. This is a little backpack, but it's also a sweatshirt and I bought it. I have it on my back. Look at that! That's amazing! We're in line to do all the little photo ops because why not? We're VIP. <laughs> why not? We get golf carts here. You're good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is giving me some Spice Girls vibes right here. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's like, I'm kissing you. I'm kissing you. I'm kissing you. I'm kissing you. I'm kissing Pringles, what's up? Let's go, Jen.
<laughs> sponsor her. <laughs> Price. <laughs> oh dang, now I want a cup of noodle. They did it Mexican style. Oh man, now I want one. Yeah. We got the Maruchan sponsorship here. Yeah. Wow, look, check this out. You can just walk by. Look cool. This is nice. Way better than just like heaven. Look at that. More photo ops. We got special posters back here. You know what? So far, I'm really impressed with this festival. We'd come back. We Highly would come back. Recommend. Highly Even recommend. Yeah. Actually, we haven't checked out VIP, so we can't really. <laughs> we can't judge on the VIP right now. But. It's like Coachella, but smaller, but smaller and cheaper. Better food. Oh, this one's so cool. David Bowie one's super cool too.
Silent disco at the Pexi booth. She brings the juice for me because I'm, I'm the apple phone. <laughs> YouTube content right now. <laughs> I know you have the color. Oh wait, we're going up again. Okay, I'm okay with that. Hey, Macarena. Dylan Francis is playing the Macarena. Porque quieres sexo, se ponen nerviosos. Porque quieres sexo, se conocieron. Porque querían sexo. 
So, uh, this is two days after I came back from my trip and uh, I'm sick. <laughs> I look super greasy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to post pictures, but uh, yeah, things happen after the festival that we were not expecting. Um, one of our friends got really sick and we ended up going to the ER. Uh, yeah. It was the first time in an ambulance. Uh, it was scary and made me very dizzy. And um, it was very stressful. But all in all, she's fine. She wanted me to take pictures and I did take one on my phone. Because after the whole ordeal happened, you know, we had, we had a good laugh about it. But <laughs> it was just like so unexpected. And um, yeah, so that happened trip to the hospital in Guadalajara as <laughs> Toma called it on stage. Um, what else happened? Um, I got sick on Sunday, the day that I was gonna fly back to Tijuana. Um, that day I had a evening flight so I was I was planning on going exploring in Guadalajara and that didn't happen because like I said I got super sick. Uh, the whole trip, I, I mean, we were all pretty much sick the whole entire trip. Uh, Moctezuma's revenge is not a myth. It is, in fact, it's real. It is freaking real. I thought I was going to be immune to it because I grew up in Tijuana. Turns out, Moctezuma's revenge doesn't discriminate. <laughs> so, yeah, we were having stomach issues the whole entire time during our trip. It sucked, but we made the best out of it. <laughs> it, was, it was so bad. Then I had my period as well. Like, <laughs> but still, it was an amazing trip. I, you know, I don't regret it whatsoever. Um, but I'm very happy to be back home and eating um, American food that won't cost any any sort of um, reactions in my stomach. <laughs> yeah. Ah, crazy, crazy, crazy. The things we do to follow Phoenix around. <laughs> but like I said, no regrets. So this is officially the end of the Tiamo tour. They have only one more show in Portugal and it's a festival show. I'm not going to be going to that. I already... No, I'm not going to that. Flights to Portugal are freaking expensive. And um, I would rather just end it in Mexico because it was a total dream come true to see them in Mexico. I have been telling them that I would 
I've been wanting to see them in Mexico since the first time I met them back in 2009. Like I remember clearly, I clearly remember talking about wanting to go see them to Christian when I first met him. So I told him this time, like it was a dream come true, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the crowd was amazing, um, both in Mexico City as well as, well as in Guadalajara. The loudest crowds I've ever like been with. It was absolutely insanity in the best way possible. I definitely want to go back <laughs> to any show in Mexico and see them again. And I also really want to see the killers in Mexico as well. Like the crowds were just, I could not have asked for a better crowd. They made me so proud to be a Mexican. <laughs> But yeah, it was so, it was so great, it was so great. And it was great talking to the guys again. Um, as always, got derpy pictures with them. You can see them on my Instagram. They're super cool dudes. Yeah, <laughs> they're super cool dudes. And um, I don't know what to say. I could cry like I always do in, um, when I'm ending a vlog, but I'm not. Because, um, I don't want to cry again, okay? <laughs> I can get emotional very quickly. But I'm very, very thankful for Phoenix, the group of friends I made through their music, and, um, just the opportunities that it's given me. Like, I never thought that I would be traveling around seeing one of my favorite bands. I've been to, let's count. I saw them in LA, saw them in Berkeley, saw them in New York City, saw them in Austin, saw them in, we can count Orange County, Santa Ana, Mexico City, Guadalajara, uh, and that's just for this tour, because I can include Coachella and other places, San Francisco, um, into the list. <laughs> but when we were talking to Christian, um, he was asking us how many shows we've been to for this tour and my total for the Tiamo tour was 24 dates and total Phoenix concerts I've been to 30. <laughs> my friends have been to way more. They're like freaking goals. I think Jen was at 70 something and Renee was 50 something. I don't know. I'm getting super stuffy. We're we're just big fans, okay? <laughs> we're big fans. And uh, <clears throat> it just feels like a dream come true to be able to, you know, follow them and have the time of my life at each and every single show. So very thankful, very proud of myself for making it happen. And I hope to do it again when they tour again. <laughs> But it won't be for a, a few more years until they release a new album and then, you know, all of that. And now I'm getting a little sad. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so sad. I miss them. But I always have them near and dear to my heart. <laughs> By the way, bootleg merch was bomb in Mexico. Even they were buying it. Um... I can probably make a full video on my Phoenix merchandise. It's ridiculous, but if you want to see it, let me know because I would be super happy to record one. <laughs> Lord knows I can talk about them for a while. That makes me such a nerd, but I don't care. <laughs> I mean, look at that. There's a little mug right there. There's another mug right there. Um, excuse this, I haven't packed my stuff. Um, <laughs> there's just a lot of stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed th these videos. Let me know if you did in the comments below. Subscribe if you're brand new. Let me know if you're a Phoenix fan as well because I love Phoenix fans. We the best! <laughs> and um, hopefully next time I travel I won't get sick. Fingers crossed. No Moctezuma's revenge. <laughs> Oh, that was too much information, but just giving you a warning. Pack medicine for your stomach and Tums. It'll help you a lot. Oh, and also drink a lot of water. Ricky Martin was the MVP of this whole trip. He kept me very hydrated. 
<laughs> so thank you, Ricky Martin. And thank you for watching this video. I don't know how many vlogs I will be able to turn out with the videos I recorded, but I mean, you would know at this point. So, yeah. Bye!